why am I doing this? Look, I want to push myself. I want a team of strong-minded people, people that are willing to push and do the best they can for themselves. To be the best at what you do and to achieve the most you can, you need a team of winners. And you need a team of strong-minded people that are willing to push, that are willing to go beyond what the norm is. And that's what I'm looking to build. So it's okay that people have left and people aren't here anymore, but the people around me, and I believe it's in life in general, friends, people you're with, people you surround yourself with, it becomes who you are. So if you're around winners and you create winners, you're just such a stronger team of people, which means you can go further and push beyond what you ever expected. Morning, Beth. Morning. How are we feeling? Good. Ready to do it. Ready for the adventure? Yes, I am. I'm ready. Born ready. <laughs> are we pulling the vehicles down, by the way? Okay. Roger. Thanks. How are we feeling? Yeah, yeah, good. Always good. Good weather, skin's waterproof and all that. Are you excited to put everyone through the paces? I wouldn't say excited, be good fun though, good fun, looking forward to it. What have you got in store for us on the trip? On the trip? Well I'll be asleep in the back of the car but yeah once we get there we'll open up a can, can of whoop ass. <laughs> How are we feeling Grace? Feeling ready. You pump excited for up the... the jam, pump it up, why are your feet are stomping? Yes I'm very excited. I'm excited to go for a swim. I'm excited to leave her in Wales. Hey you! <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be good. Gonna push us. Somebody is not excited. You think we're going for like six months? <laughs> I brought my suitcase down the stairs and then went. <laughs> you literally think we're off for a week or something? How we feeling? Good. Good. Ready for the trip? Yeah, ready, man. What are you wearing here? A bit through dark. Let's test it out. Not properly because it's not going to be minus 20, but it'll still be decent. Excited for the trip ahead. Excited yeah. to push yourself. Definitely. Stop over, get some food, fill up, let the dogs out quickly. And we've got an hour left before we get to Brecon. How are we feeling? Top of the world, pal. Top of the world. Why am I doing this? It's a good question and I think look, I'm 33 years old and people said you'd slow down at 30 and I used to laugh at them and say look I'll never slow down at 30 years old I've got so much energy and ambition and fire in me that no way I'm slowing down but as I get a little bit older you could say I've got injuries I've had a lot of operations and I found myself not dipping not in enthusiasm and not in mentality state but physically and that gets to you a little bit. So I thought to myself, look, I want to push myself. I want a team of strong-minded people, people that are willing to push and do the best they can for themselves. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this to try benefit myself mentally, um, benefit the team mentally, and push yourself. You know, when you feel like you're dipping, some people keep dipping and dipping and go deeper into this, you could say hole that they're in. I want to push harder and harder and go further. and achieve way more than we've already achieved, push beyond anything I ever imagined, which I've already done, but I want to go a step further. I'm coming to Wales because it's a challenge, mentally, physically, and who doesn't love a challenge? You know, it's something new. Um, it'd be great for the team, good bonding exercise for them, for everyone. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm coming to Wales. I decided to get involved in this to mainly challenge myself mentally more than anything. Physically I'm not the fittest I've ever been um, but mentally I want to challenge myself and see how far I can push through things that I'm not comfortable with. The up coming trip to Wales is it, it's something new and I, I can't wait. Personally I can't wait. Um, it's something different and it's, it's a way to push yourself in, in whatever is thrown at us when we're there um, and I've always I've always pushed myself to, to just do whatever, whatever anything's thrown in front of me, I'll I'll, I'll try and take it as best as I can, um, and 
and I won't ever say I can't. Um, at least you've, you've got to give it a go, uh, otherwise you will never know. And this is what I feel like the trip is going to give me. It's going to give me that confidence back that I can do these things. Dog training, give me any dog, you know. Ask me to do something when it comes to protection dogs, you know. I'll happily go out and I'll try my best and I'll do it, even if I fail. I'll always pick myself back up and try and try again until it's right. And this is what this trip's going to do for me. It's going to make me realise, yeah, you can do this, you know. Don't be so hard on yourself. Outside of work, you have to do these things. And I feel like it'll make me a better person. It'll make me realise, you know, stop stressing. Because <laughs> I am a big stress addict. <laughs> You lose most of your body heat through your head, so even if you don't normally wear a hat, I'd wear one and leave it outside until you need it, sort of thing. Um, I've got some water. I've got another spare top, just in case anyone is, is cold, cold. Um, if you are cold, do speak up, as in, I, I don't mean just normal cold, I mean going down. And the thing to watching people um, with hypothermia is when they start going down, they start talking gibberish, that would be difficult to tell with Joe, but they, they start, people start talking a little bit gibberish. They may stop shivering um, and that's the, the worst sign sort of thing. So if you see anybody who looks like they're sort of heading down to hypothermia, speak up straight away and we'll get them warm and I'll sort them out in the vehicles before we go. Okay. Feeling good. Not nervous. What's the word? Apprehensive about what's coming. I'm excited. How are you feeling? Nervous. Because mm. I don't know what's to come and I don't like not knowing. I like knowing everything. <laughs> to be the best at what you do and to achieve the Daisy. most you can, you need a team of winners. And you need a team of strong-minded people Again. that are willing to push, that are willing to go Shift beyond to the what the norm is. And that's what I'm looking to build. So it's okay that people have left and people aren't here anymore, but the people around me, and I believe this in life in general, friends, people you're with, people you surround yourself right. with, Squats. it becomes who you are. So if you're around winners and you create winners, you're just such a stronger team go. of people, which means you can go further and push beyond what you ever expected. So it benefits the company through mindset. If you've got winners on your team and there's people there with great motivation, great ambition, want to push, want to achieve loads in their life, then that can only benefit you and the company and them. So yeah, I'm doing it for myself mentally, emotionally, whatever else. So is everybody else. But as a whole, as a company, this work ethic, this mentality, this pressure makes a better company. Every company should be striving for success, striving for power, striving for like a strong team of individuals pushing that company. So yeah, I want team of winners around me. So I'm seeing what people are made of. Oh, step off, step off here. Straight up there, you want your heart. Good boy. Come on, Stand up. Stand up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come Yeah, good. 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 Y
steady fairly easy okay nothing massive it's all about personal effort okay I don't care who's at the back it really doesn't bother me okay what bothers me is if I see anyone not putting effort in as far as I can see everyone's 100% today okay which I'm happy with and that's all I want to see 100% doesn't matter it's irrelevant how many press-ups you do as long as you do them correctly you're better off doing five proper ones than ten like I said like that break dancing Okay, I'm not saying you were you was fine, Harvey. Okay, right. What I suggest you do, it's up to you. The toilets are open, ladies. If you wanna, but definitely get these wet tops off and put something dry on. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. My name's Roger. Um, I joined the army in 1985, and I served 22 years. 12 and a half of that was in 22 SAS. I spent a lot of time um, traveling all over the world, different countries, more so once I got to the SAS in Hereford. Um, obviously, I can't talk about certain aspects of, of the training or the operation side, but uh, I did a lot of free fall parachuting, a lot of diving. We did a lot of Arctic training, and my favorite being the jungle training, which I went to about six or seven different different countries to go into the jungle. Um, they are going to be outside their comfort zone without a shadow of a doubt on a few occasions, um, which I'll enjoy. He's right. It's my feet on. And do you want to see what I've tipped out my shoes? Those frogs. I'm just gonna put a towel on the seat. That's what I've done, yeah. I put my towels on the seat. Yeah. How was that? Good. Well, what good? Just let a man breathe and just hush so my mind could just see so my mind on a rock. At times I feel I can't get enough, but I sip a double cup and I spin a couple bucks. Sending out some love to my blood, to my girl, to my buds, to the homie up above. And no more time for picking up to these fakes who ain't around when the time's getting rough. We need the bag of wet. How was that, Beth? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Woo woo! Feeling good. How did you find that, Roger? It's good, mate. It's good. Oh God, Water was nice and back pleasant. Back sun was out. Bit of rain, bit of sun. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful day. <laughs> right, you'll come up a lot with children, I'll just sit there going. <laughs> Can you do it faster? <laughs> oh, just sounds like a puppy whining. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who's at the back? It really doesn't bother me. Okay, what bothers me is if I see anyone not putting effort in, as far as I can see, everyone's 100% today. What's the plan for the rest of the day? Bad in protection out tonight. Not, not like, we'll, just, we'll have a fun session tonight with them to prepare them for tomorrow, but we could make something good out of it. Um, but more so, I'm just thinking with the dogs. So they all need to come out and have like a final, not a final one, but like a walk and a walk off, um, peep or whatever. And then we'll have dinner. Yeah. We'll have the barbecue. After the barbecue, we'll all get them out one last late night walk, and that'll be them for the night. But we'll have to do that quite late on, yeah. so that they're ready for the morning.
about to go down. I'm gonna search for someone. Um, find them. Run off over. Yeah. just talk to me about how today's gone how you found it working the dogs in different environments how you found pushing yourself at the lake it's been a challenge that's for sure look i'm here at the unfittest part of my life people say that you know i'm preparing for this i never prepared for this i had an operation eight weeks ago i'm physically really unfit and not in the best of condition so i'm pushing myself because i want it to be very hard i don't want it to be easy um I want to better myself as a person. I want to push through challenges. I think today probably I was the weakest out of everybody. I'm really surprised to see how well some people did, which was good. Um, but this isn't about winning. This is about mentally winning individually. This isn't about who's the fastest, who's the strongest. People have this perception that you need to win everything. It's about winning for yourself. So I think I saw a lot of that today. And what I also saw was good team effort. I saw people cheering on other people, people helping each other. Um, certainly with me, I, I mean I struggled to lift my arms above my head because of my operation and they helped me out of the water. I would have genuinely not got out of that water that way that we were getting out. So I saw team effort, I saw help, I saw compassion, I saw everything it, you need for a mega team and that's why we're all here. Um, so that's one exercise that we've all done together. In terms of dogs, another exercise. So we're taking them to unfamiliar places, different territories, different places and it's challenging. Look like. The dogs that are older, my own dogs and other stuff, they, they know the crack, we've done everything with them. It's the new dogs that we've done everything with in the environments that we've already been training in that are perfect. Now we're making them work in different environments and they don't know what's going on. They've been chucked in a van, we've drove five hours, we're in the middle of nowhere, we're walking, then we're doing protection, then we're doing obedience. So it's massively challenging. Um, but this is about pushing yourself, the team, the dogs, your skill, your um, determination, your willingness everything to try achieve the best you can as a person for the dog for you and for the company and that's what we're here doing I mean people might think oh you're mad what are you doing all this for for what for content yeah cool we're gonna get great content but I'm doing this for me personally and everyone else is doing it for themselves personally and for the team and overall has it been a successful day yeah of course it has we're all here we're all united we're all doing well we're all helping each other we're all getting stuck in so it's been a good wrap-up to the day I'm excited now it's been cold um, it's been hard, my legs are hurting, calves are hurting, everything's hurting. Um, but I'm excited to go back, have a barbecue, have some food, sit down with the team, plan tomorrow. the day ahead yeah at least and i know it sounds mad we've got a bit of decent weather for a few hours how does it feel that you find yourself pushing your boundaries good it's exactly what i needed yesterday was harder than i thought a lot harder than i thought but it was honestly i genuinely loved it don't look like it at the time but that like sort of panic even that little bit of fear even that bit of like oh, 
I just don't know, I get a kick out of it. So the adrenaline release. Yeah, and Roger got a kick out of it too, because when he got Grace out of the water, she kicked him in the head. <laughs> He's saving everyone and they're kicking you. Just yeah, I think we'll go get the shots. Let's go get some cool stuff, see what's yeah. what. Even that banana. What's just gone on in there? Got real muddy. <laughs> Got real muddy. No, it was good. Walked through difficult places, different different surfaces, up and down banks, into water, freezing cold water rocks. It was just different. It was just really different. See if the dogs would get through everything. Stand in the water with us if we had to. Help us up bankings. I'm sure, I used mine as a as like an anchor at one point, but yeah, it was good. Dogs enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Now time to go try some more stuff and harder stuff again. More stuff on now then. Push. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push. Push. <laughs> Come on. Come out of here, search for you, look around this area, and then find out that you're in the water. Me and Roger will come out search for you. I'll go in. Um, dog will send the dog in to bite you and then he'll come in, I'll come in after the dog and then we'll keep him on. It's a new exercise, how easy it's going to be for him to let go in water, we'll soon find out. Um, but don't go too deep and try keep him above water and yourself above water. Well there's no problem, if you had a gun shoot him in the head. Stop. Stop it! Watch the dog! That was the best one ever. I could not stop, honestly. I nearly pissed myself. Was it that <laughs> bad? How'd you find it, Harvey? Oh, it was good. 
Got <laughs> hopes out my glock, but nah, we're good that. Hello. Yeah. Any words? It's good, man. The team did good. It was a good job. The job was done. Listen, it's not meant to be easy. We're putting ourselves through stuff we've never done. You know, it's good. Good laugh. We're in here now. That's twice you've done that arm. How do you feel? Ah. <laughs> nah, no words. I'm putting you to bed now. No words. What, you want 25? 25. Now we're putting you to bed later. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, let's feel the pressure. Let's feel the pressure. Oh, oh, as it. soon as it leaves my finger on What do you reckon? Free die. 20, 25 bullseye. Do that. What do you reckon? You want it 19 yet? No, I have. <laughs> I feel like I will sleep outside. You will? Yeah, you will. Uh, exactly. Can I start again after? <laughs> Come on. Oh! 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 I mean, he's had, he's had 100 darts. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's literally had 100 darts. Um, we'll get the dogs out on the final run. Exercise, final little jog out for the night. And then, yeah, then we'll have to rest them. Give them an hour or so and then we'll feed them just before the end of the night. And then that's it for tonight. We'll pack, get ready to leave early in the morning. Good, good end to the night. Um, warm again, even though I was stiff earlier. I think it's been a great team effort today. It's been a hard day, but good. Weather's bad, but great night. I think it's been a really successful day. And I'm ready to smash it tomorrow. What's the plan for tomorrow? We wake up early, get some breakfast, and we're gonna do the penny fan with some beastings. And yeah, final push of the day. It's been a really good trip, Success successful trip. Let's wrap it up for tonight. Let's wrap, let's get back. That's it, head home. Let's go. Good morning, Joe. Let's go for a tour outside. How are we feeling? Ready to rock and roll. Who we got with you? Got Ori with me. Slept in room last night, bless her. Got his gold. How are you feeling about the penny fan? Looking forward to it. In traditional Welsh leather of brain. It's going to be good. Can't wait. I'll let you go take her for the toilet. Go then. Good girl. Roger. Yeah, mate. How are we feeling? Good. How do we think everyone's going to get on today? Oh, I think it'll be fine. Weather might be a bit, a bit weird towards the top, but weather's going to be okay. Think everyone will make it through? Yeah, of course, always. Good. How have you found the trip so far? Have you enjoyed being away with us? Yeah, it's not too bad. Something different? Yeah, something different, I mean things we can work on but it'll be all come good next time you know what james what? a good friend of mine in australia called james <coughs> showed me how to do these eggs been doing eggs for years and then jay came over and showed me a new way what's the difference They're very fluffy you have to you have to it's an arm workout in itself i do rate him because they were good, but obviously I've never made eggs on this level. Dirty eggs. So 
the shell's good for the dogs, not us. How are you feeling about today? Who? You. I'm feeling. I am not and there ain't a part of my body that doesn't hurt. I'm not lying. Muscles hurt I didn't know I had. Do you think you need to work on your fitness when you get back home? And you are to work on my fitness before I come here. I reckon this is give you the kickstart you need to work more towards certain aspects of fitness. Yeah, definitely. Sure as you like. You can do it, you just need to keep going. God. I'm tired of getting crack an egg. Stay together as much as we can. 10, 20 meters, that's fine, but always stay with someone. Don't drop back on your own, okay? Just for obvious reasons, safety. Okay, if you've got any problems, want to turn around, stop. There's nothing bad in saying I've gone as far as I can go. I'd rather get you back down here safe than be halfway up the hill and go, oh, I can't fucking walk another pace, and then we're really in the shit. Okay, any questions? No. It's going to be cold, but just hands in pockets. American body warmers or gloves, whatever you want. Try not to sweat. If you start getting warm, start unzipping and maybe take your hat off or something. Okay, cool. You know, I think it was good. I think it was hard. It wasn't for yourself at that point. When you get to the top, you're thinking of getting back down for your dog. And all I could think about was just getting back for that dog. Getting him back, getting him safe, getting him warm. And literally, you just don't think about yourself at all. Well, I didn't. Um, you know, whatever you'd have done to get down, you'd have done to get down with that dog and help him out. Well, the overall trip? Good. Overall trip's been amazing. I think everyone's, look at, we're all here. We've all done well. Roger's helped us and put us through it all, which is lovely. I think what we've built more than anything is a stronger bond, a stronger team, uh, more resilience, learned to take pressure a bit better. Um, you know, when every, the best thing is everyone's best interest is for the dogs, which is why we're doing this. So how did the dogs do? I think all the dogs did great. Some struggled near the end, I'd say. But look, we struggled near the end. It wasn't, it went up sunny, started off a little bit of wind, then started off mental wind, then started off snowing, then started off mental snow with wind, I mean, Arnie, Arvin nearly blew away. What's the time now with dog We got to hold him. So yeah, I mean, what do you think, Roger? Yeah, I thought it was good. I mean, that was, just so everyone knows, that was 7K, seven kilometers, top to bottom. And that was an hour 40, but I didn't stop it when we stopped for photos at the top, so maybe an hour 35, hour 30, which you, which is good. <laughs> right, the door, I said last night, didn't I, the weather, it just changes um, like that. Yeah. And the reason I'm trying to slow people down and speed people up is because you don't want to be doing this on your own mm -hmm. because you can just wander off the track and once you've lost that track, basically up here, unless you know the area, you are, as I'd say, fucked. Yeah. And you'll wander off and that's how people have died up in the mountains here. But like you say, we got all down. More concern over the dogs on the way down. I think that hail was hitting their eyes and 
Yeah. I mean, my eyes are stinging yeah. now from that, but it's, I mean, it's good. It was good. Good team building. Yeah, I think so. PDW fan dance, what can I say? That's it. <laughs> First of many. Great What's success. What's enough one? First of many. Uh, on to the next step. Eh? <laughs> next challenge. Next boundary. <laughs> next everything.